So air comes out from it. So and inside the water, you see lots of bubbles because you're breathing out where the air comes out in forms of bubbles. Mm -hmm. So that's normal. Okay. Okay. So try. So that's you when you be breathing. Ah, yes. Yeah. And breathe. Uh, yeah. Inhale, exhale, come out of it. Right? It is normal breathing. Okay. I'm crossing this beautiful island and going towards Havelock and it will take around uh, one and a half to two hours of sailing not flying it looks pretty interesting there goes the Neil तो आप देख सकते हैं ये एक एक आइलैंड जो मैं आपको दिखा रहा था जब मैं नील आइलैंड पहुंच रहा था तो अभी हम ये आइलैंड क्रॉस करके जा रहे हैं एव लॉक जो लगभग डेढ़ से दो घंटा लगेगा इंटरेस्टिंग ये मेरा ये मेरा ट्रिप एकदम सेलिंग में निकल गया मतलब बहुत सेलिंग किया मैंने अभी तक कितना कर दिया चना एक दो तीन चार पाँचवा पाँच से ले और ये शिप और जो सवेरे का जो शिप आया था एग्जैक्टली सेम है और नाम खाली डिफरेंट है क्रू डिफरेंट है Yeah, about to reach Avlog Island. It's windy, so I want to avoid the wind. So we are about to reach Avlog Island. You can see Avlog is like pretty big. It's too big, like bigger than, much bigger than the Island. And tonight I'm going to stay here. And tomorrow evening, three o'clock, I'll go from Avlog Island to Portland. So here is the island. Have love jetty. So as the jetty. So I am going towards the land, but I have to correct this. Ah, uh, it's raining. Damn. So you can see there are like a couple of ships uh, standing there. I think tomorrow I will be traveling in that ship while going back to a lot of tourists here. Wow, crazy tourism, even in the off season, interesting. So, it's time to get in to the island. This island looks pretty big and of course I've been here but this looks totally different. I can see the difference, wow. So at present we are here and you have Govindaga beach, a lot of beaches, a lot of beaches, a lot of beaches, a lot of beaches, I've been here, a lot of beaches. So it's still called as Havelock Island. 
Oh, it's so interesting. Oh, man, my leg is spinning. Oh, man. I am hungry and the leg is spinning. They don't have a first aid. Tourism of Department of Tourism just have some first aid with you guys. So I went to the hospital and now I'm in I'm the bus. Going to meet my friend. Hello. Ah, hi. He's my friend. I just met him. <laughs> we are already friends. Okay. But I'm gonna meet my other friend who my whom used to study with me. The school, yeah. You're from No, I'm not from Abla. I'm not from Abla. So let's catch him. This is Havelock. Can't you believe it? I can't believe it. It's like <laughs> it's developed a lot, and you can see a lot of resorts and everything. Wow! Woo. There are a lot of places to find, and I found my friend. I have not yet found, but I found where he's staying. So I'm going to catch him now. Ocean tribe. This belongs to my friend. His name is Dixon and his brother Jackson and he got one more brother. The three worked together. So let us catch them. We are about to reach the beach. That's a good one. We are about to reach the beach. Hmm. <laughs> ah, this is Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> No, not on camera. No, What's up, camera. man? Yeah, What's What's up, happening? <laughs> see, one, one pack. This is one pack, not six pack. <laughs> one pack. Even I met Kata. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah. Okay, let's take the light. Okay. So, <laughs> I can't believe it. Really? <laughs> so, so, we've been studying from which side, man? Mm. From fourth, fifth, I don't know. From the family. From the <laughs> I used to message him. He never replies me. He's busy, wait, wait, busy wait, wait. big man, and he was sitting in the beach, you know. Come on, guys. So, what's up, Dixon? Tell me, man. Long hey. time. <laughs> oh, check this out, guys. This is village number three, walk, beach walk. number three. Walk. So, what is this SSI? Super School International. Okay, so you're the member of dive agency. I'm an instructor. For okay, Paddy let's take a Paddy and few. <laughs> Paddy. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. It's beautiful. Huh? Low tide. Beautiful low tide. So the, mostly the ship comes from that side, right? That side, from that side. Of okay, if it comes from Neil, because yeah. I came yeah, yeah, this I way. I saw this place, man, when I came. And when I was crossing this way, that time only my I hit the yeah. iron. The bar or you hit it? Yeah, I hit the bar. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, so let me ask Dixon, my friend, about his ocean tribe. So what is ocean tribe and what are the facilities they offer? What are the courses they offer? So I heard somebody just told me I was like incurring about the ocean tribe. They're like, that's number one. And they send all their guests to his place so let me ask him hello hi i'm dixon okay so loud dixon i can't hear you oh you can't hear me i okay. can't hear you I'm dixon and um uh, the, the dive center that i operate is ocean tribes cuba private limited and we have been starting from 2011 and we offer like courses for dive master training we do also for uh, beginners, those who are not having have any experience, that also we do take. We also do like certified divers taking out for fun dives. So th we give a variety of the experience program. So and how to say, the the sea is beautiful, <laughs> and we are like we have a lot of site name after us also. You so there, yeah, yeah. Tell me about Dixon Peninsula yeah, and Dixon, Jackson Dixon Peninsula. Pinnacle. Pinnacle Peninsula. <laughs> <laughs> Not peninsula, sorry. I'm a geography yeah. student, even he was a geography <laughs> student. Do you know what is peninsula? No, sir, I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, tell me. There's about a pinnacle. So, uh, the three big pinnacles underwater. Its top is like 18 meters to 30, 35 meters depth. 
So it's one of the beautiful spots in it's a world class dive site. Okay, people so that come, is because you have come, found out that place. Yes, yes I, we've explored it in 2006. Okay. So that's still now it's a it's got a very good feedback. People so and what about uh, so? It's yeah, also Jack like Johnny's Gorge, Jackson Bar. So these are we are three brothers. So we found all the three sites for our name. So it's also one of the famous sites. That's awesome, right? <laughs> that's all. I mean, that's not going to be. This is going to be there always. So yeah. good man. So nice meeting yeah, you. Nice, nice Thank meeting you. Bye bye. So I'm going. Years, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going. Actually, I'm going to stay in his place. Okay, if he's not even giving me the place, he will give me the place. <laughs> I can demand that. <laughs> he used to always smile like this. Still, he got a smile. And make sure that start replying to my message. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw you. You are not busy. You are just sitting there. But now only. Yeah. <laughs> You can even message uh, through like when he dives under the sea. So today I'm going to go for the first dive in my life. So he's going to explain me. So Dixon. Hello, good morning. Good morning so good morning. the time is what? It's around 6.30 uh, or something? Close to 7. Close to 7. Yeah. And so what's the plan today? Uh, today I'm going to take you to <laughs> for the dive. <laughs> the beginners <laughs> introduction dive, yes. I never did. This is yeah, the first yeah. time. So everyone for everyone is the first time, no? Okay. So beginners, yeah. Okay. So it's Always good to have a friend yeah. who is a diver, you know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do remember you uh, like pretty long time back, a few years back. I called you like, you to like, hey, come over and like, you know, yes. but I never came. So, so can you describe me about this, like, what is the introduction? So, the introduction dive <coughs> is that we're doing the uh, short training in shallow water, mm -hmm. like a chest level quarter where we'll be giving you the training. Okay. And there will be a few skills mm -hmm. to do, like, uh, and hand signals will be there. Also, like, a brief you about, like, communication underwater. And once you're comfortable, we take you on the boat. Okay, coming back. Sorry, we got cut. So you were talking about hand signals. Yeah, about the hand signals, and then after you're comfortable, then we'll take you on the boat. We call Tribe Gate to the dive site. Mm -hmm. Tribe uh, Tribe Gate is where we used to take uh, for the beginners for the boat dive beginners, where you see lots of reef fish, uh, lots of uh, marine reef fish, and it's about the uh, it's a depth of like three to twelve meters. 3 to 12 meters depth where uh, we do back roll from the boat and after that we take you uh, you will be uh, diving with one to one guide so by the time you go down you'll see lots of reef fish so many diversion you'll see of the fish yeah. and so it, the bottom line is going to be fun <coughs> yeah very fun very fun okay. I mean, so once life, yeah. once a person goes through the uh, introduction course what's his next stage Next stage, if they are, if they like it, then they will proceed to courses like open water. We have the courses. Can you show me? Yeah, we are running to agency, okay. SSI and Paddy. We have a SSI Scuba School International and Paddy pa Professional Association of Diving Instructors, where we start with the uh, for the open water course, which is four days, where we have a group uh, like a it's a number of uh, like a, a group discount for if you have a one person the price is this and if you have more than like four people you get a good discount then after the second level we have advanced open water where again another three days you have to do five dives of mm -hmm. that so like a deep navigations and other three four specialties you'll have to do okay. dive for that. and uh, so take this this is the price yeah. for for the time being, right? This is yeah, yeah, just the time. So the price, price can time. change. So yeah, price can change. So you yeah. can actually check his website, yeah. um, uh, Ocean Tribe. Ocean Tribe. Yes. Ocean Tribe. Yeah. Com. So, but, but what about this? Like, can you tell yeah, me about this? These are for we have also for the tri dive introduction that we also in like SSI and Paddy they also introduce like tri scuba diving and discover scuba diving. So. In that, you get to uh, get to learn more about the details of uh, to go for the for the open water course. Okay. Then we have also for certified divers. Those who have already certified and wanted to dive with us, 
then uh, then we take them for the different dive sites. Okay. We have our, so, uh, around by like the wall, pilot reef. We have so many sites like Dixon Pinnacle, Jackson Bar, Johnny's Hot. Those those are for the certified diver. Those have already done uh, uh, the, the, of the courses before. And also we do have a, like a night dive where we take you we, only for certified divers only because the beginners we don't take for the night dive only for the certified. Then we have a, for even for a professional if you want to do a dive master course. So those are like it will take about minimum two months to complete the dive master course to be a professional of, of any of this uh, agency if you are doing NPD or SSI we choose to do. Okay. So that's for the dive master. Once you become a dive master, you can work in any dive site anywhere in the world of your set of if you are active dive master or you renew your certifications. You can dive anywhere in the world and then you can work if you are interested. Like if people are have are like interested in travel around the world and they can just get a job anywhere. Yeah. So so <laughs> So it's going to be fine, what I can tell you. Yeah. yeah but um, uh, as a first timer, what are the things I sh I should take precaution or? First of all, you have to be medically fit. Okay. No heart patients. Okay. No high blood pressures. Okay. Physically, you have to be. Like, okay, I don't have yeah, that. Asthma, bronchitis. <coughs> okay. Yeah, no, that also we don't take you unless you have to sign no for it. Okay, you have yeah. to sign a yeah, paper so that he's saying that you you are qualified to you are physically fit okay yeah so for that yes. so let's go for a dive dive, dive yes come on <laughs> so i'm ready so before you enter into the water you have to sign this form this from ocean tribe you have to read everything and there are like few questions like do you have you know ear infection do you have some disease or do you have something you have to leave all this thing you have to sign it so this is like a customer record and you accept that while diving if you die so you are the responsible person they are not so it makes sense so i filled the form and i'll be going for diving that's my shoot This is how you get up with your gear. This is your regulator where you'll be breathing. Right? So we also have an alternate air source. We have an inflated deflator. On the surface you add air, you float, you deflate, release the air, you go down. We also have the air gauge, how much air you have. Okay, this is the dive computer anyway. It doesn't. Okay. And then we have a compass here. The compass. Okay. okay, so then uh, I'll give you the your gears over there only. Okay. Here goes my friend. Yeah, you look like a diver. I look like a diver. Yeah, like a diver. Okay. I think if I keep on wearing this, I'm going to lose a lot of weight. That's <laughs> one of the good best ways to lose because this is like oh, I'm like stuck inside, but it's very interesting. Are very excited. <laughs> See how your performance. <laughs> my performance. No, he's my master. <laughs> Mm. So, but it's it's very interesting to actually like I like I never drive so but when you drive with your friend and you know he's your very old friend so you know like I, I don't have fear actually okay <laughs> that's great that's great just sign for an okay underwater <laughs> so whenever a diver asks you are you okay respond yeah. back you're okay yeah if you're this not is, if you're not problem not okay okay, okay. This is for going up. Okay. Don't show me a thumbs up underwater. This is for to go up. Okay, okay. okay. That means you wanted to come up. And going okay, down? This is down. Okay. This is stop. Watch. Okay. Slow down, relax. Okay. Okay? Okay. Let's this is sign for out of air. Don't show me that you're out of air. <laughs> okay. okay. So hey guys, so you can see this beautiful beach and here my friend Dixon. So he's going to explain me about the gear. 
Okay, this is a set of gear okay. where when you're diving, you'll be having your cylinder, your tank. Mm -hmm. It's a 12 liter tanks. We also have a BCD buoyancy control device with the jacket where a diver has to wear so that you can control your buoyancy. Mm -hmm. What is buoyancy? Buoyancy means like if you're on the surface, buoyancy means like whenever, which, wherever depth you are according mm -hmm. to that you have to maintain your neutral buoyancy underwater okay so when you're when you're on the surface you add the air mm -hmm. then the jacket inflated mm -hmm. you float okay to go down you have to deflate your you have a deflator button where you press the deflator all the air release okay and then you, you are started to go down with the help of the weight belt okay okay the weight belt is there you also have a regulator this is the regulator primary where a person is using you have a mouthpiece so the primary one is for the person who is using it so you also have we also have a alternate air source alternate air source is the secondary where in case you have a problem with your primary you can use the alternate mm -hmm. or if your body is out of air you can share air with the alternate air source okay. that's helpful so always dive with the buddy don't go solo dive underwater okay. because anything can happen with the equipment so mean be sure that you are safe with it by using the that's why I'm ah. that's why I'm uh, diving with my buddy okay, that's good that's good after a long time so yeah hopefully yeah I've never this I never have an accident with anyone okay. so far certify more than hundreds of certifications all around the world mm -hmm. so I don't so, know how many certifications <coughs> I've done I've done hundreds like close to thousands so okay yeah, so, so what is the biggest challenge have you found as a diver Challenge when you find that people who are slow, you have to make sure that your patients while doing teaching the uh, the course. Some mm -hmm. people have a phobia, so you have to make sure that you they overcome the fear. So you find lots of uh, challenge, like sometimes when you're going to fight with the currents underwater. So how to tackle with that? Those are again the challenge. Exploring a new site, going out. So there's also. What is what is the maximum depth you have? Uh, depth in recreational, you are allowable to go up to. 40 meters that's in recreation compressed air yeah so um, that's the maximum in recreation you can go and mm. two meters 42 is for emergency so in case you have anything drop down you cannot yeah go deeper because anything go beyond you might get an oxygen toxicity so that can okay. if you want to go deeper than that you need to have a, a mixture of air you have a that's for the tactic technical divers when you can go to tech 50 tech 60 tech 70 so that you have to breathe different gases so that's for the deep dive deep dive we're also going very deep i want to go exploring to a ship so how deep are we going today today we'll go approximately to 33 feet 33 to 40 feet okay that's but like how that's much meter a, that's about 10 11 meters which okay. i'm going to go for the beginners so that's which i'm going to take you if you're comfortable under <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, awesome that's <laughs> and we are going to the tribe gate which is one of our favorite sites okay for the beginners it takes it's about a kilometer from here okay so first of all we'll be doing the training in the shallow water, like chest level water over here mm -hmm. and after that only we can get onto the board and then we go for to dive so i'm going to brief you i'm going to uh, teach you the basic skill in the water so we need have we have to get in water for that let's so go the, uh, so let's go <laughs> yeah, see, yeah. So it's easy to wear. Yeah, so you're in the water. If you kneel down a little bit, mm -hmm. in the water. So, oh, you want to smell. If you are doing the course, which you a person have to do it by themselves. Mm -hmm. But now because you are the beginners, introduction dive. So I'm going to help you with that, all, the, all the things, okay? Okay. Okay, this is your primary regulator where you will be breathing from it. So you have to bite with the teeth, mm -hmm. seal with your lips. Like for example, if I'm breathing, ah, e, ooh. See? Okay. So when I breathe, mm -hmm. my lips doesn't move. I seal it, so and so only you have to breathe the air in suck the air in so where you get air you okay. exhale out okay the air comes out from the drain well so on the side so you don't have to breathe out from the lips okay so from the mouth only mm -hmm. so air comes out from so and inside the water 
you see lots of bubbles because you're breathing out where the air comes out in forms of bubbles. Mm -hmm. So that's normal. Okay. Okay. We'll try. So that's you when you're breathing. Ah, e, u. Yeah. And breathe. Uh, yeah. Inhale, exhale, come out of that. Right? So just normal breathing. Okay. No panic. Okay. okay. Just breathe. Underwater. So they should lock like this. Yeah, yes. If I pull also, mm -hmm. uh, it's a do you try it with it? Mm -hmm. so your lips seal, seal your lips, yes. Mm -hmm. Your lips should cover properly. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. So the pull should stay, okay? Mm -hmm. should not come out. So you don't have to hold with your hand, you just with the grip from your teeth. That will be that will be okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so first we'll go for the training. Okay. So in, in water, the first thing make sure that uh, all the gears is on. Tightly and locked. After that uh, we underwater we practice the breathing. I'll be teaching you two, three basic skills. The first one is, in case your regulator come out of your mouth, what you have to do in that point, okay? If it doesn't know, then you know the surface is too far. So make sure that you should be able to recover your regulator and breathe normal. That's the first thing. Second skill, we'll be doing mask clearing. Suppose that water goes inside the mask. Anyway, you're breathing from your mouth, but in case the water goes inside the mouth, to clear the water out of the mask, you have to Breathe in from your mouth, exhale out from your nose. That I'm going to explain, I'm going to show you, demonstrate the skills also with that, okay? Yeah. So, and also underwater, we cannot talk. So the communication is with signals, okay? So if I ask you is a question, are you okay? Then you respond back, is okay. If you have any problem, signal, not okay. Point where you're not okay. My ears hurting, not okay. My breathing is not okay. Point my cold, not okay. Point where you're not okay, right? So don't nod your head when I'm asked if somebody asks you are you okay? Don't say oh, okay. Yeah? Just make sure that I'm okay. If not okay, problem. So if there is a breathing problem, what should so I do? So when my breathing, breathing not okay. Okay, okay I'll take the If nose. you wanted to come up, this is sign for up. Don't show me underwater for grade or something like that. By thumbs up, okay. <laughs> this is for up. Okay. But with your smile, I'll know that I'll say no. This sign for okay. Okay. This sign for down. If you want to go deeper, some people want to keep on going down, down, and down. They want to see. They want to touch the sand from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Then they set signal down, okay? Stop. Sign for stop. Watch. Watch me. Watch over there. So this is sign for watch, okay? This sign for slow down. Relax. Okay. Okay. Relax, slow down. Okay? So uh, that's a, a few signals that we have to like underwater. So underwater as we are diving, you remember that uh, when you're flying, the pressure, it's as you're, the pressure getting low. Mm -hmm. When you're going down underwater, the pressure getting higher. So, here in the in the flight, when you're flying, you find the ears are. You might find that ears uh, like a squeezing, or you might have a pain in the ear. So, yeah. same thing like underwater. As you're going down, the pressure getting higher. So, here, two, three, one or two meters, you start to feel the pressure by that. You don't have to go very high, like very low, deep also. Like even two, three meters, you start to feel the pressure. So you have to equalize at all time to get the ambient pressures so how do you equalize very simple scale you paint your nose try to block your nose we have on the mask we have a finger well where you can paint your nose and try to exhale out while closing your nose then your ear pops okay so when it's there then you, you are able to equalize you don't feel the pressure so as you go as the moment time you descend and while descending keep equalizing okay so keep on pressing keep on equalizing okay so from depth to shallow you don't have to do anything it's open up by itself. Okay. So only only while going down we have to keep equalizing. Okay. okay. It's because of the pressure. Pressure. Okay. Okay. So, so underwater we keep asking, are you okay? Even if you're okay also, but make sure you respond like you're okay. Okay. We also have the pressure gauge like that's what I said. This is the SPG submersible pressure gauge. So this the pressure when the tank is on indicates how much air you have at the beginning. Okay. So as you go, keep diving for a few minutes, like 10, 20 minutes. The pressures, as you use up the air, the pressure is getting lesser. Okay. So according to that also, we we check how much air you have. And if you have 50 bars, means you're already a reserve. Dangerous jump. So means you still have enough air at the depth of 30 meter also. You can come back up slowly at the rate of 9 meter per minute and do the safety stop at 5 meter for 3 minutes. Then you can surface up. Still you'll have enough air for 50 bar reserve. Okay. But not to continue the dive when you have 50 bar okay. so the timing so everything is in a very relaxed underwater we are going not going for a competition yeah we're going to enjoy so the slower the diver go the better the diver they are the and faster yes. diver we think oh they're fast but no they 
they are the beginners so that's why they go too far they everything excited they see one fish follow one fish <laughs> and then use up air mm. so always try to stay relaxed stay calm enjoy the dive you'll see more this the slower you move you see more you can look around look up watch on the side every side then you uh, and here in the reef you'll see lots of uh, reef fish Thank <laughs> you.